After you've completed entering in all of your payroll year-to-date adjustments, your next step is to enter in prior payments of liabilities. The prior payments of liabilities are entered to show that you have paid the liabilities that you entered in balances for through the year-to-date adjustments. To enter in your prior payments of liabilities, go to Employees from the main menu at the top, Payroll Year-to-Date Adjustments, click the Next button, and then click the Prior Payments tab. Or, go to File, Company Utilities, Setup Navigator, to follow the Setup Navigator, and then click on Prior Payments of Liabilities. Within the Prior Payments tab, click New to enter in a new prior payment. The effective date should be the last day of the period or quarter that you're entering in the prior payment for. Since you entered in your year-to-date adjustments as a total for the quarter, the effective date should be the last date of that same quarter. Instead of entering in a prior payment for each employee, you can select that the adjustment is for a company. You will select both the company and employee related items. You will receive a message upon selecting the employee items that you've selected to do the prior payment for a company, but you're selecting an employee item. Click OK to proceed. This is OK for our prior payments, which simply need to offset our year-to-date adjustments. Since these are prior payments, you're typically going to enter the amounts in the decrease column to show that you have paid those liabilities, deductions, and taxes. Enter in a memo to represent why the prior payment's being entered. If you selected Do Not Affect Accounts on the Year-to-Date Adjustment, you're going to select the same thing on the prior payments. If you did not, please read the help topic on the Do Not Affect Accounts option and using the Offsetting Account. If you did not select the Do Not Affect Accounts option, and you're unsure of what offsetting adjustment account to use on year-to-date adjustments or prior payments of liabilities, please contact your accountant to receive the advice on what accounts should be selected here. For more information on prior payments of liabilities, click F1 to read the help topic on prior payments of liabilities.